Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be the top items. I think there's 10 or 11 that I've purchased so far in 2023. Uh, this year I've definitely purchased some of my absolute favorite clothing items, favorite shoes, uh, and mostly clothing items. This year I've really focused on ready to wear and clothing pieces over shoes and bags. I did buy a few pair of shoes, but the bulk of what I've purchased this year has been actual clothing pieces. In the past, I've really relied on thrifting my clothes, uh, secondhand clothes, and really focus on investing in shoes and bags. But this year, I really felt like I had enough shoes and enough bags. Um, I wanted to focus on elevating my everyday wardrobe, where there were some things and missing holes in my wardrobe that I really just couldn't find at the thrift store uh, anymore. I really wanted to look for more statement pieces or super elevated basics, and the thrift store really just wasn't offering that. Uh, so this year I really focused on investing in ready to wear and clothing pieces So I'm super excited to share with that and a couple of shoes that I also purchased this year that I've really been loving So I am actually going to start with a pair of shoes One of my absolute favorite purchases this year are these and Millie Meester boots and something I look for in both my shoes bags everyday clothing items is really simple at heart uh, pieces that are pretty sophisticated or elegant and but have just a little bit of a twist so overall these boots are a pretty simple boot the leather super stunning but then in the back they have these ties which make them different uh, and interesting and add just a little bit of a different detail compared to other boots in a really subtle way um, that's still really eye-catching and i got these boots on sale from Essence for a really good price at the beginning of last summer or this summer. Um, so I haven't got to wear them too much yet, but I haven't found them to be super uncomfortable, which a lot of people say about Anda Millimeter boots. Um, and the other thing I really appreciate them and why I really um, can appreciate more luxury items or thoughtfully designed items is I was I have bigger calves, so I was worried that they weren't going to fit. But as you can see, the leather is kind of in these different parts so that you can really morph them to your leg. You can pull them apart a little bit if your leg is a little bit bigger, or you can tie it tighter if you have a skinnier leg. Um, so I really appreciate the versatility and the thoughtfulness that these were designed. Um, and they go with all my pants, all my coats, all my shirts, um, and just a really easy thing to throw on uh, and feel just a little bit more elevated with the uh, details and the silhouette of the boot um, so I'm excited to wear these more as it's finally getting colder in Texas the next pieces that I'm going to talk about are some black shirts and I love a white shirt but I realized this year as much as I love a white shirt it is not worth the getting dirty I have an eight-month daughter now um, I like to travel and I do not want to be risking getting my shirts dirty all the time so I decided to focus on the black shirt, which I love just as much. So the first one is this Le Mer high collar shirt. And I had this style actually in a white. Um, and I realized I loved it so much, but I'm, again, always a little bit scared to wear the white one. So I wanted to buy a black one. And I absolutely love the silhouette of this shirt. It has a higher collar. It has a little bit of a wider sleeve and then also a straight hemline. And it has a little bit of a more boxy feel, just super, uh, beautiful straight lines and really beautiful silhouette in 100% cotton and I got this from the Essence Cell as well a couple months ago. Um, just a super easy uh, shirt to wear. It's one of La Mer's staples, the high collar shirt and they create again a really beautiful silhouette that's really easy to wear on an everyday basis and just feel a little bit more elevated. Next this was my 25th birthday present to myself and I saw this on Essence. I didn't see this shirt anywhere else it's from Simone Rocha I saw it in a checkered pattern but I didn't see just the straight black color anywhere else uh, and it's a simple black shirt but it has a ruching effect just on the right side and I love that at its core it's just a simple black shirt but again it has a really elevated detail with the ruching that makes it different uh, and stand out and just a really beautiful detail I absolutely love wearing this shirt I feel special every single time I wear it but again, it's simple enough and streamlined with the rest of my wardrobe enough that I can wear it on an everyday basis and not feel like too crazy or anything, even though it's definitely a little bit more different than your average shirt, but 
super beautiful. Absolutely love the details. Really like Simone Rocha as a designer. I know she's only been doing menswear for a year or two now, uh, and I really love everything that she's doing and can't wait to pick up some more pieces from her. The last black shirt is probably my favorite and it is from Yoji Yamamoto. I picked this up when I was in Paris a month or two ago from the store there. And they have this shirt called Power of the White Shirt, but they also come in black. And it's just a collection of really beautiful, simple white and black shirts that all have their own unique little details. So as you can see on this one, it buttons up and then it has this draping in the front that you secure at the top button. Um, and then it has this longer silhouette. I love the detail in the back as well, but the draping on the shirt uh, just really drew me in from the moment I saw it. It creates a beautiful movement when you're walking, when the wind's blowing a little bit. Uh, every time I wear it, I just feel super elegant and I just really enjoy the way that Yoji Yamamoto clothes make me feel. Um, so I absolutely love wearing this shirt, 100% cotton as well. All of these black shirts have been cotton. It's really my favorite material for a shirt. Next to wool, of course, but cotton is a little bit more common and more affordable. And so I've loved wearing all three of those shirts on a day-to-day -day basis. Next is this blazer from La Mer that I also got at the SNCL a couple months ago. And what I really love about this is it's actually waterproof and so it's super practical. So not only does it look really good and I love the shape, it has these wide shoulders. It's a little bit shorter, not quite cropped, but a little bit shorter. And then it has these buttons where you can button all the way up to the top for a higher neck or you can wear it just as a normal blazer but it still has a little bit of a higher button, which I really appreciate in a blazer and I've been getting more into recently, whereas a typical blazer probably stops buttoning somewhere around here. This one can button all the way up. So not only does it has a beautiful shape that I love, but it's also super practical being waterproof. I also wore this in Paris in the rain a couple months ago and it held up beautifully. Um, and I've really enjoyed having clothes that I love that are also practical and waterproof. And I think that's really key to always feeling good when you're getting dressed is being prepared for whatever environment you're gonna be in, weather, rain, with clothes that you really love. Um, and so this is my first blazer that I ever purchased that wasn't thrifted, and I have absolutely feel like it was so worth it. It was a really good price. So the other pair of shoes I'm gonna talk about is just a simple black derby. This is the Parade Derby from Our Legacy. And I had my Doc Martens for years and years, just the typical 1461 uh, all black Doc Martin. And I got a fresh pair last year for Christmas. And really quickly, the leather actually started peeling away throughout the toe box. And I needed to buy a new black derby. And I didn't want to risk uh, the Doc Martin doing the same exact same thing again. And so I didn't want to just repurchase those. So I got the Our Legacy derbies again on sale at Essence, best place to save up your wish list and purchase things when they go on sale. And it's just a simple, classic black derby, really beautiful details. I love, love the stitching across here, across here, really beautifully well made. The only thing I've noticed is the shoestrings keep breaking for some reason. I've already gone through two pairs of shoestrings and I need to buy a new pair, but really easy to wear on an everyday basis. Definitely my go-to shoe um, when getting dressed and just feeling like myself. I absolutely love a derby and our legacy ones are probably one of the best ones I've seen. So one of the only bags that I've actually bought this year was this nylon Comme des Garçons bag. Um, really recently, I think just in the last week, um, but I realized sometimes I feel just a little bit too fancy if I'm wearing a super nice outfit and a super nice leather bag and I really love to create some sort of contrast when getting dressed, and so I wanted to get just a little bit more of a sportier bag, which is why I went for a nylon fabric bag. And it's super affordable from Comme des Garçons. It's in this beautiful nylon taffeta. I really, really love the shine of this bag specifically. It's, it's what really drew me into it. And of course, the shape of it is also super nice. It's really good for what I'm gonna be using it for, which is work. It's good to travel, it's good to go to the gym. It's just a really good all-around bag. I love just how effortless, a little bit sporty, and the contrast that it adds to my outfits being in this nylon fabric. The only pants I'm gonna be talking about are the Sage Nation box pleat trousers, and I just recently got them as well in the last week. However, 
They've been on my wish list pretty much all of 2023. Uh, I've just been keeping an eye on them. And then when the SNCL started this year, I immediately picked them up within minutes and I'm so glad that I did. Sage Nation is a UK based brand, but these particular trousers are actually made in Japan and they're cotton twill. And I really love, they have this inverted pleat right down the middle, it goes all the way down to the bottom and it creates a really beautiful shape when you're walking and the pleat kind of comes in and out. When you're sitting down, they create a really beautiful shape. Um, and they're just a pretty easy pant just to wear every day. I've really enjoyed having the elasticated waist because my waist fluctuates a ton between like a 30 up to a 32. And so I've come to really appreciate an elasticated waist, which these have. They're pretty wide, but I really love the shape and the silhouette that they offer. And again, they go with my derbies, with my boots, with other shoes I have, all of the shirts that I showed you, the blazer, and pretty much everything in my already existing wardrobe. So it's been a really good addition. Um, and I'm super happy that they still had my size left on Essence when the sale started so that I could pick them up. And Sage Nation is absolutely a brand. They have a ton of beautiful pieces and one I'll be keeping an eye on um, in the future. The other pair of bottoms that I do want to talk about is actually a pair of shorts from Lone, Lown, L-O-W-N-N. It's a brand I've known about for a while. I know they do beautiful wool pants, beautiful wool coats. And when I saw these, um, again, on Essence, at the beginning of the summer in 100% wool, I knew I had to get them right away. In the past, I've just gotten my wool trousers tailored into shorts, but I haven't been able to find a pair of black wool trousers that I was wanting to um, chop the bottoms off of. So when I saw these, I had to get them right away and I'm so glad that I did because I literally wore them multiple, multiple times a week, every single day in the summer. I've enjoyed transitioning them into fall with knitwear and coats and longer socks uh, in my derbies. They are in a bit of a lighter wool, so super easy to wear in the summer. I've wore them in literally over 100 degree weather and the wool is super breathable, uh, being a natural fiber. And I also appreciate that they don't have a press line down the middle. I find sometimes it's really annoying to keep up with keeping that line, line looking nice and sharp, but they still have the pleat at the top to create really beautiful draping and fall really nicely. Um, and these have been such a staple for me and I cannot wait to wear them again next summer. So I said in the beginning of the video, I've been having a hard time finding things that are reflecting my personal style and needs in my wardrobe at this point from the thrift store. However, also at the beginning of the summer, I was lucky enough to find this coat, which is more of like a blazer style coat. It's pretty long, it goes below the knee and it is in 100% silk, which I was super excited to find. I don't have any other items in my wardrobe that are silk and this is really beautifully made. It needs a little bit of TLC. It has some buttons missing that when they were about to fall off and I actually just decided to take them off entirely as it is such a fancy piece. I talked about loving a contrast. So I kind of like the contrast of having the deconstructed or missing buttons to go against a really structured um, luxurious material coat. However, these buttons on the sleeve are missing and I'll probably replace those. I already ordered some silk buttons to replace those with. But again, I really love the structure of it being almost like a blazer style coat and the, the shine is super beautiful and the silhouette is nice. It's pretty oversized throughout the chest and the body, but then luckily enough with the sleeves, it fits me pretty much perfectly. So the last item that I'm gonna talk about actually just got in the mail, literally 30 minutes ago, um, but it's a piece from La Mer. It is these slip-on mules. And I saw these on the runway, I think it was last January for their fall 23 collection that came out and I immediately saw them, loved them. I saw them in the Paris store uh, a couple months ago, really liked them. I love just how simple and understated they are. Um, I love a black leather shoe. And I was actually researching a pair of Andamili Meester shoes that I already have because someone asked uh, what style they were. And so I was looking those up and I saw an ad from Farfetch for these and they were like literally on sale for $200 and normally 700 retail and when I saw them for 200, they were already on my wish list. I already knew one day I was gonna get them. I said to myself, if I don't buy them now for this price, I'm never gonna buy them 
because I don't think I'll ever find them for this price again. And so I immediately got them and love the way they look. I love that they're mule, but they really stay on your feet because the, they come up further. They're not slipping and sliding and they also fit pretty snug also. So it really keeps it on your foot much more compared to other mules that I've tried on in the past. Um, I've also realized this year, I really only like to wear black clothing. I've, in the past, I've invested in like a lot of whites, like I was saying, or even like cream, beige. Um, but this year, I've really just realized I feel most of myself in black. I still love browns and navies as well, so I don't really see myself deviating from a black, brown, and navy color palette, just because that's what I feel most myself in. Um, but I feel like this year, I've really took the time to think about what I want to purchase. I feel like compared to years in the past, this hasn't been a ton of stuff purchased in one year. Um, and I wear literally all these pieces on rotation day and day and day and day. I don't think a single week goes by where I'm not wearing all of these things. And it's made getting dressed in the morning super easy and just feeling like myself on an everyday basis, which is really important to me when it comes to clothing and fashion, is feeling like myself, feeling like I'm representing the way that I feel and the way that I want to express myself to the world. Um, and so to me, it's worth it to spend the money, invest in clothing compared to other areas and experiences in life, just my personal preference. Um, but super happy with 2023 shopping and pickups. Really haven't regretted any purchases this year, um, which is great. And so thank you for watching. I'll definitely be making more videos coming soon, talking about fashion and styling and pickups and shopping, uh, but not too much shopping. Um, menswear fashion week is coming up in january definitely will be talking about that and again just super appreciate the longer form content on youtube getting to share more opinions and thoughts in a more well curated and thought out way and see you in my next video